In this video, let's try something different. I am going to show you how by using the same logic, the solution code can be written at a beginner, intermediate or advanced skill level. This will give you the confidence that you do not need to think something differently or extraordinarily to become a pro in SQL. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL Interview in 50 Question series where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully created questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we are already done with select and basic joins. We are currently working on basic aggregate functions. Then we'll be moving to sorting and grouping, then advanced select and joins, subqueries, and finally with advanced string functions, regex, and clauses. In our previous video, we saw this question called Multi Transactions Part 1, where we learned about a new function called Date Format and how powerful it is while dealing with columns that are of data type date. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Immediate Full Delivery Part 2 and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. So, this is the 21st question of the series Immediate Food Delivery Part 2. And if I look at the companies this question has been asked in, so DoorDash. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called delivery with four different columns, delivery ID, customer ID, order date and customer preferred delivery date and their data types being integer for first two and date for last two columns. Delivery ID is the column of unique values of this table. The table holds information about food delivery to customers that make orders at some date and specify a preferred delivery date on the same order date or after it. If the customer's preferred delivery date is the same as order date, then the order is called immediate, otherwise it is called scheduled. The first order of a customer is the order with the earliest order date that the customer made. It is guaranteed that a customer has precisely one first order. We are asked to write a solution to find the percentage of immediate orders in the first orders of all customers rounded to two decimal places. Okay, let's go through this example and see what we need in our output. So we have seven different rows in this delivery table and seven different de delivery IDs of various customers, their order date and their preferred delivery date. So we need to find out the percentage of first orders that were immediate. So let's look at for all these customers, what were their first orders? For customer ID 1, this is their first order and it was scheduled because it is not the same date as the order date. For customer ID 2, this one is their first order and it is an immediate. So right now, 1 out of 2 is immediate in the first order. Then for customer ID 3, this is their first order and this is also scheduled. So 1 out of 3 as of now. And if we look at customer ID 4, there is only one order. So that is going to be their first order and it is also an immediate. So 2 out of 4 are immediate orders on the first orders of the customer. So that is going to be 50% and that is what we have in our output. In this video, let's try something different. I am going to show you how by using the same logic, the solution code can be written at a beginner, intermediate or advanced skill level. This will give you the confidence that you do not need to think something differently or extraordinarily to become a pro in SQL. Let me switch to Excel so that we can start developing the logic and then look at the three solutions. So this is the delivery table and let's develop the logic. So our first step should be to find for every customer ID what is their first order date. So step one should be find first order date. Then step two, because we are only interested in the first orders. So keep only first orders and then we need to get the step three is going to be percentage of those first orders that are immediate. So this is the three step logic that we develop. Now let's begin with how a beginner will approach this. So our first step is find the first order date. How can we find the first order date of every customer ID? Simply, if you just group by your customer ID and find the minimum order date, that is going to give you the first order date. So let me go ahead. Let me go back. Uh, let me drag to the left so, to, so it is easier for us to see. From this table called delivery, let's group by, let's group by the customer ID, return the customer ID and the minimum of order date and this is going to be as first order date. 
okay let me go ahead and run this let's see we are done with the first step or not okay so if we look at our output yes for every customer id we have the first order date okay so we need to add the first order dates of every customer so that we can perform the filter so what we can do is we can say that okay this entire thing this entire thing gives you this table so if we put this entire thing in a parenthesis if we put this entire thing in parentheses, this is going to give you one table. Now, what do we need to do is if from this table called delivery, let's alias this as D. Let's treat this entire thing as another table. Let's call this as table F and just perform a left join because in this table, in this delivery table, we are basically adding another column called first order date. So what do we do is from this delivery D, let's left join this table, this entire table called F on customer ID. So on D dot customer ID, let me drag this down so that it is easier. Customer ID is equal to F dot customer ID. Okay. So now once we have this, let's return all the columns from delivery table and just keep the first order date from the table that we created so first order date let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in this let me drag it above uh if we look at our output okay so this is our output let me drag it to the left so that it is easier for us to view Okay, let me drag above. So for every order, now we have the first order date of that particular customer. Okay, so our first step is done. Okay, now moving to the second step, keep only the first orders. That is, we are going to use the where clause. So where your order date is equal to first order date, then that, that is the first order for every customer ID. So what we can do is, we need to perform where where the order date is coming from the delivery table so d dot order date is equal to f dot first order date okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here let me drag it above okay so if we look at our output now so these are the first orders for every customer so now we are done with second step as well then we need to find out what percentage of them are immediate so we are going to use the knowledge that we gained in our previous videos of using if function so what do we need to do is return if your order date is coming from the delivery table so d dot order date is equal to d dot customer preferred delivery date then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero what is this going to do so if your order date is equal to the customer preferred delivery date that is that means that this order is immediate if not then it is scheduled we need to find the total percentage of them being immediate so if i just let me go back here uh, and let me just populate the first order date so that it is easier for us to visualize okay so after step one these are the first order dates then we are only keeping first orders so let me just highlight all the rows that are first order okay so now these are the first orders and these are the rows that we are interested and then what we basically did is we said that if your order date is equal to customer preferred delivery date then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero so since we are only considering these four rows is this equal no so this will assign a value zero is this equal yes so one zero in this case right these two are not equal and again one in this case so now once you have this then you just if you go ahead and calculate the average so that is going to give you 2 divided by 4 so if i just go ahead and do average of this entire thing that is going to give me the average but we need percentage and that to round it to two decimal places so for percentage you just multiply this by 100 and then round this entire thing to two decimal places 
and this should be aliased as whatever is required in our output let's me see what it is saying so in our output it should be called immediate percentage okay so as immediate percentage i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it if it passes all the test cases okay so this is accepted and this is the beginner level solution now let's look at how the solution will look like for an intermediate skill level at sql okay let me go ahead and remove this entire thing so that it's easier for us to develop from scratch now same logic how an intermediate will think about it so our first step was find the first order date okay so they will also try to find the first order date by okay from this table called delivery let's group by the customer id customer id and let's return customer id and the minimum of order date because that is going to give you the first order dates now they are instead of performing a join they will think that okay so the second step is we are only interested to keep the first orders so this means we need to perform a filtering and since the filtering should be row by row we need to use the where clause so if i do where right so if this entire thing again goes into parentheses but this time not to perform a join we do is where your combination so where your combination of customer id and order date is in this one so what does this mean so whatever you have in the table if you perform this filtering that your combination of customer id and order date so co combination of customer id and order date are the ones that resembles their first order date so that is again this part and if i just write and complete this code so from this table called delivery we are keeping only those rows where the customer id and order date combinations is in the customer id and their first order date combinations and let's return all the rows for this so select star and let me go ahead and run this and let's see if we end up with the highlighted rows in excel that we have okay so if we look at our output uh, let me drag to the left so if you look at it right so these are the same four rows that are highlighted right now here and after this they are going to do the same thing that we did in the beginner level okay so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so again this is accepted let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases or not this is accepted as well and this is how a intermediate would solve this now if you are advanced in sql then what a person is going to do using the window functions again here they will do the same thing but let me go ahead and delete these two parts again the concept remains the same that find the first order date so they will do this by ranking that okay for every customer id let me rank their orders based on their order dates so for customer id 1 this is going to be their first order and this is going to be their second order order rank so this is what we have for customer id 1 for customer id 2 this is going to be the, their first order and this is going to be their second order for customer id 3 this is going to be their first order this is going to be their second order and since for 4 there is only one order this is going to be their first now keep only first orders so wherever your order rank is equal to 1 that means we are only going to keep that and then after this we can simply go ahead and find percentage immediate so let's look at how the solution will look like in that case so if i again let me you know go ahead and remove this entire thing so from this table called delivery let me rank so how do we rank select all the columns because we are adding another column called order rank and there are three different ways and don't worry if you are not following this along at that moment we are going to learn this in detail but just a brief overview there are three different ways to rank in sql first one is a rank function second one is called dense rank third one is called row number that there is a difference but just remember that in this case dense rank is a best solution because it won't skip a rank if there is a tie dense rank and whenever we are writing a window function we need to write over clause and for every customer we need that so that is why we need to create partition 
by customer id and the first order should come first so order by order date in ascending order and let's alias this as order rank okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in this case so okay wrong answer not a problem but still not complete yet let's see our output so if you look at it right so for every customer id you have ranks one two like which is their first order second order etc so now we can treat this entire thing as a table so what we can do is we can put this into parentheses that okay so this is what we have and then we are also this is a table so we can write from this table this entire thing the value of this is this table that we just got we are only interested in keeping the first orders right the second step of our solution so where order rank is equal to one let me go ahead and do a select star so that we can see uh, what do we get in our output a select star uh, okay so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so these are the four rows that we again got the same four rows and then we can simply go ahead and calculate the percentage just like we calculated in the previous two cases so okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in this case so this is again accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases this is accepted and this is how we do it so you see how by using the same logic three different people at different skill levels are going to solve this problem and how the solution becomes compactor and compactor but if you see there is no difference in the logic the only difference comes in the functions that they choose to do this so that is why you do not need to think something extraordinarily to become a pro in sql you just need to learn more and more functions and then try to optimize your solutions so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video